welcome back to my channel all right y'all i'm so excited because i actually think this is my first video i want to say where's my phone this is my first video <laughs> since i have a thousand subscribers yay finally lord that took a long time so i finally have a thousand subscribers <laughs> thank you all um yeah, so now the next thing we got to do is get up our watch time hours because I need 4,000 hours, hours of watch time. And, you know, I'm only halfway there, <sighs> but I digress. My name is Tayana. I do all kinds of things on this channel. Following my micro life journey is the biggest thing. Let me make sure. Oh, okay, somebody's on, so I'm about to say, let me make sure it's on YouTube. I'm like half sweating and then half, you know, just, you know. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, but yes, I do all kinds of things on this channel. I do follow my microlax journey the most. Um, and so today, we need to blow dry my hair so I can go to sleep. And yeah. I didn't even realize that I didn't change my thumbnail. So I will have to go back and edit that for you anyways we're about to do that now don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video i do all kinds of things um besides hair stuff so you might find a playlist on my channel that you might find interesting all right so this is how i usually come out so i usually do my hair during the shower um i can't see you all okay i usually do my hair during the shower and when i come out the shower i put this uh microfiber towel on my hair but I literally put it on just like this without, you know, the top head covering part. So I put that on my hair to dry my ends. And then I put whatever I'm putting in my roots. Yay! Thank you, Kyara. I'm so excited, even though it took a long time. Um, but yeah, so I put the microfiber towel on, on whatever locks are left to dry while I, like, you know, do all the stuff that you do after a shower or whatever. And then at the end... If I'm blow drying it, I'll blow dry it. And if I'm not blow drying it, then it will air dry or sit in the dryer, whatever I do. But I usually focus on the ends because I want to keep some moisture in my scalp for a little bit for whatever I put inside of it. If it's aloe or whatever it may be. Hi, Sister Carolyn. I want to put the air on, but I'm scared to put the air on because of what they're all saying about the air quality. And I'm like, you know, the air conditioner uses the air from outside, <laughs> but whatever. So here we go. We're going to get started. I did try to blow dry just a little bit of the part that I covered, but I didn't take it out. So I probably still have to go back at the end and do it. And I feel like I keep having to get on my tippy toes. So you guys must be higher than I want you to be. Yes. All right, so let's get started. So, yep, leaving a microfiber towel on kind of lets me get some of the moisture out. Um, and so now that the I have a lot of interlocked parts with the roots, I don't care as much about stretching it as much as I do just knocking moisture out of it. So that is our goal before we go to bed is to get that moisture out of here. So this is what it looks like out the towel. Um, yep. Yeah. Just, you know, regular. I don't know if you see curly ends or not. You can't tell. A little bit. Because obviously the two strand twist part is still, you know, it just wants to be curly all of its whole, whole life. That's its lifelong goal. <laughs> all right, Um. okay. Hmm. Now, I could do this all at one time. And again, because I don't really care about stretching it as much anymore, I just, I really be doing it all at one time. And I don't really section off. So this is going to take a little small section. And uh, let me go see if I can get a clip from my clips. I thought I have one in here, but... No, I never have what I need. Alright. Clip real quick. It should be good. And we're just going to... Uh, clip this top part just to keep it out of the way that's all greetings tina i saw your comments i didn't get to respond i didn't get to respond yet y'all but every time somebody comments i do read your comments pretty much right away and then 
I respond whenever I have a chance to like sit down, read all the comments, reflect on them, and then go back and respond. So if you send me comments, I always read them right away. I just don't heart them because if I heart them or like them or anything, then it will not be on my thing as unread and then I'll completely forget to literally, literally respond and I try to respond to everyone, of course. So yes, if you ever give me comments, y'all, I always read them right away. I just don't type you back right away, but I definitely read them right away. So I know, Tina, you left me quite a few that I saw that were really nice to read. And so as soon as possible, I will get back to you and respond to all your lovely comments. Oh, yeah, I have a wrong thumbnail there. like a final pass through and you know just go through it one more time um but yes 
So for the most part, I kind of pull on it and blow dry it. The interlock part does not stretch at all, but oh yeah, here in the blow dryer, yeah, that would be too. That's true. And then uh, the ends that are, you know, that were too strand twisted, like if you could tell, this whole part is interlocked and it stops here. Then this whole bottom part is too strand twisted. Those can be stretched a little bit, so I might pull them, but the interlock part really i'm just trying it it doesn't really get stretched and then every once in a while i'll blow it in a circular circular motion just to kind of and like rub my hands to my scalp just to kind of make sure it's getting my scalp dry um as well and then if you're interested and i don't know if you are but i found this interesting um so let me show this to you real quick if i can let me see how do i want to do this real quick so, what I think is interesting is that you still get, like, shed hair when you blow dry. And so, when people say, like, your ends fall off of your locks, I think that's really true. And I think that's how they start to seal a little bit. Like, some of your curly ends fall off. And some of it is um, because, you know, the bottom part stays, like, loose and natural more than the other parts do. So yeah, so I still get like those little pieces like that or little small pieces that lets me know the ends are kind of falling off a little bit. And some of that too comes from using a blow dryer, but I think it also just comes from your hair transitioning from being loose to being uh, locked. All right, so this is the lovely bottom back and we're gonna get started on the, ow, 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 on the top part is kind of thick so I'll probably be splitting it in half as I go along okay so yes so I'm definitely doing this the lazy way because <laughs> I I just want to knock the moisture out as much as possible so I'm not going to sleep with completely wet hair and so that the wetter it is it definitely will shrivel up on me for the next day all right here we go time because I'm about to be super lazy and just have to do it if I don't. So let me get some more of this chunk out. And uh, let's try it like that. See how that goes. Because uh, I was on my way. <laughs> hangnail or something on my nail and I can't quite get it but it keeps snagging in my hair Turn me nuts okay
think you guys are still must be too high. So I keep getting on my tippy toes to see and the, <laughs> to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's try that, I guess. Almost done. I can just gotta do this section and then the top section and I'm done and then when I'm done the camera then I'll go back and do the you know, just go over whatever was covered to make sure it's not damp. Especially as you're just starting out and your hair is changing and it is locking. And part of the locking process is your hair actually getting tighter and meshing together. And I think that causes some tension on your scalp because I think almost all of us with locks have experienced having an itchy scalp. Um, and even if you do put things on it. So I think it's just part of the fact that it is locking and... Um, especially if you're somebody like me who can't use oils, it makes it even harder. But if you can use oils, I would definitely, when you're done washing it, put a little bit of oil in your scalp, massage that in while your hair is still wet, and then let it dry however you're going to dry it. That should help. Um, also, I am trying now to use a moisturizing shampoo because I don't like to put conditioner in it. Um, so I'm trying to use a moisturizing shampoo, and I'm hoping that that will help too with the itchiness. But um, I honestly think that's part of the game. And I think it's also because your hair is parted all the time. And with your hair being parted all the time, it's like your scalp is so exposed. And I think that's, that's part of it. So oil will help and a moisturizing shampoo would help. Um, depends on how long, how thick your locks are. If they're like, if you are genuinely, genuinely retwisting because your locks are a little thicker well that's even better because you can use oil for your retwist which will help too um and then if you are interlocking like me so if you are retwisting your thicker locks six weeks is usually a good time frame to do your retwist or four weeks up to you four to six weeks um and then if you're interlocking probably more like eight eight six to eight weeks same thing. It kind of depends on your schedule. If they're still new, then you would do it a little bit sooner than if they were kind of locked in. That gives you more leeway. Kyra had me yelling. All right, I'm done with this. I don't want to do that part no more, I don't think.
stuff there and um when i'm done then i will go back and uh you know make sure the top is really dry like i think it is so i think most of this middle part is coming from the front so i probably am going to pull that a different way anyway but yes we're pretty much done you know done -ish. and right now my retie is like i don't know maybe three weeks old i think So I have just a, just a little bit of time, um, but, oh, okay, and then as far as my front part, usually because I don't put anything on my locks uh, as far as, like, for the edges, so when I blow dry it, I try to take that as a time to, like, when I blow dry it, I just, while they're wet, since they're wet, I just use the blow dryer to keep rubbing them and blow drying on them back and that kind of helps it with uh with them staying a little slick you know with them staying a little slick mm. okay so you never use shampoo that's interesting i never heard of just using shampoo and I mean conditioner and apple cider vinegar. I have heard of using apple cider, apple, okay, <laughs> apple cider vinegar, um, which honestly could be contributing to some of the dryness, but it is I know a more natural way to shampoo. Um, but yeah, the only thing is sometimes apple cider vinegar could be used as something to strip your hair, like to make sure you don't have anything in it. Like when people do the apple cider vinegar, um, the ACV rinse, you know, to get like the extra buildup out of your hair. So if you're using that constantly, you probably don't need to use it constantly. So I would see if you if you really want to use like only natural products for your hair. I know there's other things you can do. I, the book I was reading that is on the um, thumbnail has some, if you go to whatever video I did on shampoos, it does have some shampoos you could use naturally. Um, but yes, generally I just would rather shampoo and no conditioner because conditioner can kind of detangle your hair and you don't want your locks to detangle but if you're far along in your lock journey you can definitely use conditioner more than somebody who has newer locks because your locks are kind of already locked in so you can do that but yeah i know yeah finding someone to do your hair if they're not near you is difficult so that's why i try to do these videos because hopefully they help you know and then those of us with locks or whatever we can help each other out with some of the things that we do and we do to our hair but yeah maybe see if you can find if you're not against it see if you can find a moisturizing shampoo and see how that works because that's what i'm trying now to see if that makes a difference with the scalp um but yes thank you all for tuning in let's all go to bed now <laughs> let's all go to bed i still can't i have other stuff to do but Thank you for tuning in, and I'm just going to make sure it's completely dry, but it usually doesn't take that long to dry. Like, this has only been going live for 25 minutes, and I probably was talking a good seven of them, so it really doesn't take long to dry anymore, so that's really nice, and so yeah, makes it easy, and of course, I don't have to detangle, makes it easier. <clears throat> Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the thousand subscribers, so excited. Now I just got to get my watch time up, and hopefully I'll see you the next time. We can talk more about all of that fun, fun, fun stuff. But yes, adios. Adios.